Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Mr. F. And today I'm going to talk about the chapters in maintenance manuals. In aviation, we have many manuals and they are organized in the same way. They are divided in chapters, sections and subsections. Aircraft manufacturers use a standard numbering system for aviation maintenance documentation. This numbering system is referred as the ATA-100. It was published for the ATA, the Air Transport Association, and provides recommended specifications for the content and structure of technical information. The chapters in this numbering system are divided as follows. Aircraft General, Airframe Systems, Structures, Propeller and Rotor, Power Plant, and others. Aircraft General Chapter 5 Periodic Inspections In this chapter, we have the time limits for inspections, maintenance checks, and overhaul of the aircraft, its systems, and components. Chapter 6 dimensions and areas. In this chapter, we have the charts and diagrams for area, dimensions, stations, access doors, zoning, and physical locations. Chapter 7. Lifting and Shoring. For procedures to lift and support the aircraft, it includes procedures for jacking the aircraft for maintenance and repair. Chapter 8. Leveling and Wigging Information to properly level the aircraft for maintenance, including maintenance practices to prepare the aircraft for wigging. Chapter 9. Towing and Taxiing Instructions to tow and taxi the aircraft. It includes maintenance practices to prepare the aircraft for towing and taxiing, and charts showing location of attachment points and turning radius. Chapter 10. Parking, mooring, storage and return to service. Instructions necessary to park and store the aircraft in normal or abnormal conditions, such as with engines removed or aircraft damaged. It includes procedures such as periodic engine running control or drainage of fluid systems and wheel rotation. Instructions to move the aircraft for short or long terms in extremes of weather conditions. It includes equipment and materials required such as wheel shocks. And instructions to prepare the aircraft for operation following mooring, parking or storage. Chapter 11. Placards and Markings all placards, labels, marking, and self-illuminating sign required for safety and emergency information, ground servicing instructions, cautions, warnings, or by government regulations, showing the part number, legend, and location. Chapter 12. Servicing. Instructions for the replenishment of fuel, oil, hydraulic fluid, water, and tire pressure. Instructions to carry out scheduled servicing such as lubrication of components, aircraft external and internal cleaning, and for unscheduled servicing such as ice and snow removal. Precautions to be observed in servicing a tank or a servor and a diagram showing location of regular and emergency servicing points. Chapter 18. Vibration and Noise Analysis. This chapter is only for helicopter and provides information to monitor, measure, diagnose and locate sources of vibration in dynamic and structural components. Te invito a que seas parte de los que están aprendiendo inglés con mis videos. Por favor comparte, déjame tus comentarios y sugerencias para que estos videos sean cada vez mejor. Y no olvides suscribirte a mi canal para que no te pierdas ninguno de los videos. 
Muchas gracias y nos escuchamos en el siguiente video.